What's up, Internet? It's your boy Dan, aka Hey You with your pants off. Today, I want to talk to you about jacking. You see, way too many people, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, they're jacking their four wheel drives up all wrong. They're going to lose their legs, they're going to lose their teeth. So, me and Danny, we've teamed up with the guys from ProQuip down in Melbourne. We're going to run through their safe jack range today to go through all the ins and outs on how to get your four wheel drive up and down. Now, big lifted four wheel drives and high lift jacks go together something like peanut butter and. Labradors! Labradors. What the f The thing is, these things are notorious for being dangerous. They take out teeth, they'll give you an unsolicited smack in the crotch if you're not using them right. Now, in tricky terrain like this, just like you do with your tyres, you drop pressures, you increase your footprint, and everything becomes a whole lot simpler. Now, it's no different with a high lift jack. You want to increase your footprint? Use one of these. This little jigger here is the high lift jack equivalent of lowering your tyre pressures. It'll increase your footprint, give you more stability in rough terrain, and getting it on your jack is as simple as one, two, four. Now while Danny's over there swinging around that big thing, the guys from ProQuip actually recommend a little more precise option a lot of the times. An aftermarket heavy duty bottle jack. Now you've probably got one of these floating around from an old Corolla, chuck it in the bin, get a good one. And the reason why is these things are incredibly versatile. But more importantly than that, they're really compact. And that means you can get them underneath the axle, you can get them underneath the front suspension and lift straight from there. So when you're trying to change a tire, you're not lifting 16 feet in the air just to soak up that suspension cycle. And the last thing, and perhaps the most important thing, is because they're so small, they've got an incredibly low fulcrum point. That means instead of swinging around on a big old high lift, swinging around on a little bottle jack, it makes it so much more stable. Look, I am absolutely loath to admit this, but Dan has a really, really good point about stability when jacking it. Now, when you go and really reach for the stars in your jack and adventures, you need to strap yourself in. The team at ProQuip have come up with these cables and an even bigger base plate to make sure that when you're jacking your four-wheel drive, you're safe, you're stable, and you get the job done with the minimum of fuss. Now, look, we're not gonna worry about the physics of it. That was ProQuip's problem, and they did a damn good job of solving it. What it means for you and me, though, is we can turn a pretty flimsy single pole of metal into a really super stable triangle of jacking prowess simply by using these couple of cables here clicked into an even bigger base plate. All right, we've got the Ranger up in the air, secured with the cables and the base plate. Now, you would never, ever do this, but I'm gonna try and push this thing off the jack. Now, the best thing about a bottle jack is it isn't the whole story by itself. A couple of fun little things like this, where did you get that from? Part of the part of the ProQuip stuff, man. A couple of fun little things like this, and you've got a whole host of different options. So if you're running 31s or 40 inch tires, you can get straight to that axle and still maintain the full use of the bottle jack. The other great little thing is a few different attachments on top. A C-clamp holds onto the axle tube, or a flat plate actually allows you to use it as a press, so you can change bushes and bearings and all sorts of things out in the field. If that's not smart jacking, I don't know what is. There you have it guys, the proof is in the pudding. ProQuip safe jack range is absolutely life-saving stuff. And between you and I, I kind of like you and I'd like you to stay around a little bit longer. Look, I'm not going to hit you with the big lengthy sales pitch. You've seen this stuff working, you know what it's about. I'm going to put a website right there. I'm going to put it there, here. Go and check out this stuff, tell them I said hi and hope they don't charge you double for it. In, in fact, don't, don't mention my name, don't, don't mention me at all. Just go and check it out.